Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Life of Senza. Hey baby boy. So, I've been out here watching these goofballs and realized that I could have been filming for you guys because I'm sure you'd enjoy it as much as I do. <sighs> Just went out and did a little egg check and I had a hen laying on laying in the nest so I figured, eh, I'll wait. I'll give him a little bit of time and then I'll go back in there and I'll collect the egg. And I've got Velocity out here too. Savannah's at school. I went and I gave Velocity's puppies their vaccinations a couple days ago and I got some video and some pictures and I'll be uploading that soon on my um on my Senza Tempo channel. God, I gotta fix his ear. It's so frustrating. I had it taped, it was perfect, now it's back down again. This is by far the most difficult crop I've ever dealt with. Um out of the cropper that I'm that I'm using currently. So <clears throat> Kubrick is six months old now. He's going through some awkwardness in his movement and stuff like that. It's been ugly to look at, but it is what it is. They all do it. You just learn to get used to it. His sister is definitely growing um, more evenly than he is. <clears throat> His moments where his gait is good and it's pretty, but he's not, he's not a, um, he's not quite found his gait yet. He doesn't, he doesn't, um, he doesn't just gait around naturally, which is beautiful to see when they do. And I think he will eventually, but he's not found his gait yet. <clears throat> so... Savannah was in a mood last night, and I was, like, trying to give her a hug, and when she's mad, when she's in a mood, she, like, rejects love, but I'm an annoying mom, so I was hugging her anyway, and Mad Mortigan decided that it would be fun to throw his feet up, like, basically act like he was going to get in on the hug, but then his paw smacked me in the face and it cut like underneath my eye. And um, I was very unhappy. Very, very, very unhappy. It's not the first time he's done it. He has this really bad habit of like wanting to paw. At, you know what I mean? Like, just throw you the, the paw. But he's such a huge dog that... And he's so tall. And his arms are so long that... It literally is just like... He'll get you in the face, like, every time. He's a real jerk. Preacher is in, in trouble. Um, he's been... He's basically on discipline right now. He, um... He's been marking in the house and throwing a fit. I put him in one of my, the, the airline crates, which I thought he would be fine with, but I will tell you that he was one of the dogs that you could not keep in a kennel. Even those big metal ones that I bought, he'd eventually break out of. Um, and he broke out of one and broke it, which is like, you know, that's, they're not cheap. They're over 300 bucks a piece. And, um, after throwing an absolute fit in there, just cause he wants to be out with me. Um, he's just acting a little spoiled right now. Like, I don't know what his, pro I think, I think it's possible that he's being, that he's insecure about Kubrick because I've been spending a lot of time with Kubrick, but the reality is that any, you know, any puppy that I have to train, I have to spend time with. So it's not, it's not a legitimate thing for him to be acting like that. And so 
what I've done is I've put him outside and he's just having to kind of same thing I did with Kubrick whenever he was starting to act a little like that and get destructive I, I put him away and started working with um, kimchi and so whenever I catch them like acting too clingy um, where they start to like get almost like a separation anxiety I will force them to to be okay being alone and um because I don't want to encourage that behavior so that's why he's not out here right now he's he's learning to be comfortable in his own skin right now um and it's just unfortunately the way it's got to be if he's going to be acting out like that he can be a little dramatic What is he up to? I ordered some new chickens. I ordered some um, American breasts and some black copper morons, which I've had before. I've had the black coppers before in Texas, but the American breasts I've never had before. Um, but I've, I've heard really good things about them. That's why I got them. And, um, what are you doing, madman? Where are you going? I don't know what he's up to. My Morgan, this way. What are you doing? God, it's a gorgeous day today, you guys. I got to get work done today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work my tail off today. Good boy. I put on so much weight over this winter. Ugh. I feel horrible. Reese and I keep saying we're going to go to the gym, but, and we will, but every day so far, we were going to start going this week, but every day so far, something has happened to one of us. I was going to go today, but or, uh, when he did that to my eye, I was like, nah, I ain't going, <laughs> I ain't going out like this. <laughs> I'm going to give it a little bit of time to heal before I go out there and looking like, Looking like I got pieced up by my boyfriend or something. <laughs> Gotten some kind of... Got into some kind of fight or something, which I didn't, but just have big dogs. It's big dog problems, I'll tell you. And it's another reason to keep their nails really short, because I will say that he doesn't have, like, long, long nails, but they did have, like, a point to them. And, um... I cut his front nails after he did it um just to stay on top of it but i'll show you his back ones i didn't do ah, ah, ah. come here my mortigan now come here come here good boy yeah good boy come here yeah good boy let me see so you can see here ah. so they're, they're kind of long but not like super long or anything and um he got me man Got me good. Oh, Velocity took his stick. Ha ha, Velocity took your stick. Uh, uh. Velocity took it. That's what you get for being a punk. Hmm. So anyway, but yeah, I've got to get... I've got to go get ink today. Um, I have one more thing to do with my registration for my Asia litter. I got Asia registered. I got her DNA done. I got... I got Don Juan done. Um, the only thing that now I have to do is I have to send in the foreign litter or the special litter application. And whenever I went to do that, my printer was out of ink. And it's, you know, it has black ink though. But unfortunately, there's no such thing as true black ink anymore. It's basically... It tried to print, and it came out all different kinds of colors, and I'm like, what? So, yeah. Oh, well. And I'll tell you what, man. You could tell me if I'm wrong, but I swear to God that that ink is disappearing. I'm not even using it. Like, I feel like you might as well just use your printer because your ink is going to evaporate. It's just going to, it's just going to, like, magically disappear and dry out. If you don't, if you don't use it any, ooh. <laughs>
Jesus. Velocity. Good grief, woman. <laughs> you lost the stick you were trying to be so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> she's about to she's, <laughs> all she wants to do is intimidate them now look <laughs> she's like I'm going to take that stick by force <laughs> look at her like a shark just look at her look at her. Oh, let's see what she does <laughs> She's mad at him right now. <laughs> it's so surprising to me that people actually used to think that I hated Velocity, that I didn't like her. It's like, what's not to like? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Think about him. Think about Kubrick. Is like he never gives up. He's like a punk. He never gives up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Good girl, Velocity. Did you get him? Look at you over here. How much wood would a woodchuck would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Huh? Woodchuck. Let me see if I can do it again. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? That's right! I got it! I think. I think. Somebody will have to correct me if I was wrong. There's Preacher. You hear that lonely bark out there? The, the, boo! Boo! Yeah, there it is. There it is. There's his bark. Let's listen for it again. Gotta fix that ear. Ugh! It was so perfect. Now it's so not. It's so frustrating. Anyway. He like has no width to his head right now. He needs to get his head wide and it'll probably come up. It's, yeah, that's Preacher. Yep. See, and he cannot come in when he's doing that. Because that right there, that is him 
wanting to dictate what he gets to do. And when he don't get to do what he wants to do, then he throws a fit. And he's busted out of so much stuff, you guys. Like, Batista will learn to open things. He'll open things, like um, like these kennels and stuff. You have to keep his latched. Preacher forces his way out. Um, it's, like, ridiculous. And it's just like, no. Sometimes, you know, you just need to learn to be alone. You need to learn to be okay. Being on your own and not throwing a dang tantrum and costing me hundreds of dollars because you want to destroy things whenever you do have to be left alone. Because <clears throat> there are some times whenever there's nothing I can do about it. You know what I mean? They got to be put away. Anyway, I'm going to get inside. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to check on these eggs first. I'll show you guys these new... These new boxes that I got um that uh there's a breeder friend of mine in California that recommended these and um they're they're good I've gotten eggs already in them I did leave their original box just so they could lay in there too but um anyway I'm gonna pause this while I'm walking okay so I'm in my area now. I've been giving them fresh, well, not fresh produce, but like, you know, stuff that we were going to throw out, which they like. So now I have a new hen in the box that wasn't in there before. Those are not real eggs, by the way. Um, I don't want to wait anymore, so I'm going to reach in there. Sorry, if you're upset about it. See. Nope, that's not real. All right, so that's it. That's all that I've got. So I've gotten, let me see, one, two, three, four eggs today so far. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. Hope y'all are having a good day. And I'll, um, I'll talk at you later. Bye.